In April of 2012, L.S. Riley was having nightmares. He'd always been a night person, staying up well after his roommate had fallen asleep, but now he had even more of a reason to stay out of bed. Riley had once heard someone say that fresh air was the best way to chase the demons away, so he started taking night walks to avoid the terrors in his sleep. But Riley was about to learn a hard lesson. The worst nightmares are the ones that come for you while you're wide awake. This is the story of the smiling man. What happened? Who is he? And why are some smiles so creepy? And most importantly, how could you survive an encounter with him? There's only one way to find out. Like we said, Riley had a habit of taking nighttime walks. He lived downtown in a major US city and he'd been taking his nocturnal strolls around town for four years without any kind of incident. He'd once joked to a friend of his that in this city, even the drug dealers were polite. Maybe that's why he let his guard down the one night he needed it most. It was Wednesday, a little after 1 a.m. Riley was walking further away from his apartment than he usually would. He was at a police patrolled park, normally as safe as your backyard. He noticed that the whole town seemed unusually dead tonight. He hadn't seen anyone during the entire duration of his walk, but as he rounded the corner into a small, dark side street, that was all about to change. In the distance, he saw the silhouette of a tall, lanky man dancing. It was a kind of odd, loping waltz, somewhere between a dance and a walk. There was something off about the man, something uncanny. Riley shooed away the irrational fears and figured the guy had probably just a few too many drinks at the local bar. He walked out onto the road to give the stranger some more space on the sidewalk, but as the two got closer, Riley realized he'd made a mistake. The man was moving a little too gracefully to be drunk. He was dressed in an old suit, his face craned up, looking at the night sky. Riley noticed his eyes were practically bugging out of his head and most notably, he was wearing a wide, toothy smile the kind of smile that almost looks like it hurts, a creepy cartoon grin. Riley crossed the street to give the smiling man a wide berth, but as the man stopped perfectly parallel with him across the street, he was looking in Riley's direction still facing skyward. Riley kept him moving, wanting to put as much distance between them as possible. A block later and he looked over his shoulder and saw the smiling man crouched in the shadows a few feet behind him, still grinning, baring his teeth like a predator. Riley was frozen as the smiling man rose to his feet and began waltzing toward him faster than any person should be able to. He was in grabbing distance when the smiling man stopped in front of him. Terrified, Riley choked out a desperate noise he wanted to sound intimidating. Instead, he sounded terrified. But Riley got lucky. The smiling man turned tail and began waltzing off in the other direction. Riley got moving again. He was closer to his apartment. He just needed to get inside and then he'd be safe. But that's when he heard the footsteps behind him, pounding at the asphalt. He turned and saw the smiling man sprinting toward him like a maniac, eyes bulging, smile still freakishly wide. Lucky for Riley, perhaps because of the fear and adrenaline, he could run faster. He sprinted until his legs burned and he was finally able to lose the smiling man. He returned to his apartment that night, traumatized but still alive. He lived in that city for six months after that but never took a nighttime walk again. The nightmares in his head had nothing on the nightmare he encountered on the streets that night. Riley knew from something in the man's face that he wasn't drunk and he wasn't high. He was truly dangerously insane, and Riley had been lucky to escape with his life. Riley posted this story on the r slash let's not meet subreddit, a place for people to post real frightening encounters they'd had with strange people across the globe. It seemed like a freaky isolated incident, but as it turns out, Ellis Riley was only one of many people who had terrifying encounters with the smiling man. He was just the person to finally give it a name. In fact, so many people out there had their own experience with this terrifying, grinning phantom that they started the r slash the smiling man subreddit to share their experiences. A user named Pop Tart Muncher relayed a terrifying encounter outside his home. He saw a distant, waltzing figure as he was pulling into his driveway, and then when he got out of his car and began walking toward his house, the figure broke into a frantic sprint, just like in Riley's story. Pop Tart Muncher ran into his home in a panic, locking all the doors and windows. That's when the smiling man appeared at his front door trying to slide it open. His face pressed up against the glass. He grinned and hissed out the words, I'll be back for you, before waltzing away. Another user with the appropriate handle, grinning man watching, had the smiling man appear outside of his home in the dead of night. He lived in an isolated farmhouse out in the woods, so when an unusually tall, grinning creep appeared in his yard, staring in through the windows, he knew that nobody was coming to help him. He was just lucky that the smiling man wasn't able to enter his home that night and eventually decided to waltz off of the property. Things could have gone a hell of a lot worse. A former smiling man skeptic with the username Anonymy13 had the closest encounter yet. While outside his home, he saw the smiling man appear and began waltzing toward him. 
He looked so terrifying and unnatural that Anonymy literally collapsed to the floor as he approached. The smiling man crouched over him and leaned in so far their faces were almost touching. Anonymy described feeling the man's breath on his skin. It was cold, like a winter breeze. He got lucky, and the smiling man let him go. He was able to get up, limp back into his home, and shut the monster out. The subreddit moderator, a user called heck to the Yeah 65 studied all the entries on the subreddit to extrapolate the best description of the smiling man. He's always above six feet tall, often wearing an old-fashioned suit and sometimes a small hat. He often looks up at the sky and can be identified immediately from his strange waltzing gait. Many of the stories seem to come from the state of Iowa, and he typically stalks dark streets in isolated homes. And of course, he's never seen without his wide, unnatural smile. So who or what is the Smiling Man? He's become the stuff of internet legend, and fans have drawn parallels with a number of popular creepypastas. These include Smile Dog, the classic tale of an image believed by many to be pure evil. If you haven't seen our video on Smile Dog already, the gist is it's an image of a Siberian husky with a wide, demonic, human smile. Anyone who sees the image is haunted in their dreams by the monster, encouraging them to spread the word and infect more victims by showing them the photo. Another similar creepypasta often associated with the Smiling Man is the Grinning Man. In this story, the narrator's friend dies a horrible death. The only lead on what might have caused it is an email he received containing a photo of a grinning face and the trigger word desperation. Exposure to this is believed to cause violent insanity in victims. However, this isn't the only grinning man often associated with the monster we're covering in this video. And if the connection holds water, the smiling man may have been around for a lot longer than we thought. The town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia is no stranger to weirdness. If the name is familiar to you, it's because it's where the legendary Mothman was first sighted. But a lesser known monster was also sighted here by a sewing machine salesman named Woodrow Woody Derenberger in 1966. Woody was driving along a hill just outside Parkersburg on Interstate 77 when he encountered a strange vehicle. It almost looked like a giant oil lamp traveling toward him on the road. He pulled over in sheer confusion, and that's when a hatch in the vehicle opened and someone stepped out. He was a strange man with a dark overcoat and an unseasonably dark tan, but the strangest thing of all was his freakishly wide grin. The man identified himself to Woody as injured cold and told him that this would be the first of several encounters. But Woody reported that Cold's grin didn't shift once during this conversation. He was speaking telepathically. He even encouraged Woody to share the story with the authorities before climbing back into his strange vehicle and disappearing. Two other men reported a similar experience that same night, describing the grinning Cold disembarking from his craft and asking them strange questions. Cold kept his word and met up with Woody several times after that. He told the sewing machine salesman that he was an alien from a planet named Lanulos, simply visiting Earth. The 1960s were a real heyday for mysterious grinning figures. A few weeks before Injured Cold allegedly appeared in West Virginia, two young boys, James Yanchitis and Martin Mouse Munoz, encountered a similar figure in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Both boys claimed to have spotted the strangest man they ever saw standing behind a chain link fence. He didn't say a word, he just stood there, freakishly tall and grinning like a maniac. That certainly sounds like the smiling man to us. Nobody could blame you for feeling freaked out right now. Is he an alien, a monster, or a demon, or just a dangerous smiling lunatic? And why is a smile, a facial expression meant to indicate happiness, so disturbing in the right context? According to a research study performed by the University of Minnesota, it all depends on the type of smile. The study aimed to find out what makes a smile seem likable and what makes a smile seem creepy or off-putting. The study found that the following features were often associated with the creepy and threatening smile, being too wide, showing too many teeth, and conforming to a V-shape. Sound familiar? According to a meta-study published by the BBC, there are 19 different types of smile, each one communicating something different. The smiling man's signature grin seems closest to what the article calls angry enjoyment smile. These wide, fixed grins often indicate a malicious intent, a kind of sick joy in hurting others. That's why it's often applied to frightening villains, from Jack Torrance to the Joker, and the Smiling Man is no exception. Sometimes a smile like that of the Smiling Man can indicate sickness and disease. The rare disease Rhesus sardonicus, often associated with tetanus and Wilson's disease, can cause facial muscle spasms that force the face into a malicious smile or rectus grin. This definitely sounds like the Smiling Man's painful-looking cartoon grin. Finally, how can you hope to avoid the Smiling Man? Well, according to the Smiling Man subreddit, your best bet is to avoid going out at night, especially if you live in a quiet or isolated area. Keep your doors and windows locked, and if you ever encounter the Smiling Man himself, 
don't make a noise and get out of the area as quickly as possible. The smiling man could be anywhere now, perhaps even a little closer than you think. Now check out scary urban legends that'll keep you up at night and true scary stories. Try not to get scared challenge 2019 for more terrifying videos.